Hi guys, so this vlog is basically the places that I have visited in the first 30 days after I have landed in the great white north Canada. Oh my god, after a day's travel it felt so relieved to finally stretch out and excited at the same time to explore the country. Nevertheless, in spite of me being hell bent tired, I did manage to capture the snowstorm in which we had to drive back home. And you know what guys, it was a freaking minus 26 degrees Celsius out there when we had to drive back. Here we go with the first spot. It was the Lake Ridge Ski Resort that we visited for snow tubing. Apart from snow tubing, they also had ski hills where adults and children were taking their skiing lessons. So alert to all the parents out there who are looking for some kind of winter activity for their kids. You guys can definitely try this place for the ski lessons. We were planning to take one for ourselves next winter and we'll make sure to make a vlog out of our experience for you guys. The following week was Valentine's Day week. This year's V-Day was a teeny bit more special to us as it was our first V-Day together as a couple and we planned to do something different. Here we landed into the Harry Potter theatrical play. Oh my god, it was definitely a worthy 3 hour play and an awesome experience on the overall. A must try if you guys are looking for something different than the usual movie date. The third spot that we visited was the Adventure Art Studio near the Bront Harbour. That week we wanted to experience something that was new and fun at the same time. So we booked ourselves classes for the intro to the pottery wheel. We had such a great time together and not to forget we had a one-on-one -on -one couple session. It was quite surprising that my husband can handle clay too. So once our pottery stuff is done, there is a separate place where we can do featuring things on it. There's even a follow-up class where stuffs that you have made can be painted, sunblasted and glazed. At 
number four, we visited the Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. It was a general aquarium tour that we took, and since it was a late evening, most of the aquatic species were fast asleep, I guess. Though, we did manage to capture a glimpse of these stingrays, nurse sharks, turtles, seahorses, dragon seahorses, last but not least, the jellyfish. The fifth spot that we visited was the Casa Loma, a castle located in the midtown Toronto. It was built in 1914 by the financier Sir Henry Pallet. It is now owned by the city of Toronto and is regarded as the most treasured heritage landmark. Around 650,000 visitors visit here yearly. They are also known for carrying out private events such as weddings, social and corporate events. At the time when we visited, the entire castle was themed with the Dungeon and Dragon movie theme. The final spot that has become a go-to place for us is the Waterworks Park that has the Lake Ontario flowing on its other end. It is a closely secluded lake mostly visited by the neighbourhood population. The calm breeze, the sound of the waves splashing the rocks, along with the seagulls cooing, makes our day even better. To be a part of my journey, do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.